And uh, you know, the guy's like, well, how am I going to drive it home? Well, like three or four of the guys here all brought extra axles today. So after this is over, they think it's only going to take them 45 minutes. See, look, now, the guy in the neon does this all the time. So he's, you know, aggressive. All that grass he's kicking up is what caused that one guy to wreck. I guarantee you. I walked the course right before they restarted it. And uh, it looked pretty good, but right up through there, it was kind of a kind of a mess. But you know, it was his first time ever doing it too. But I really like this kind of stuff because obviously nobody's put that much money into these cars. Right. If it wrecks, it wrecks. They're out there just having a real good time. Yeah. I think the entry fee for the SCCA members is forty-five dollars. If you're not a member, it's sixty. And the guy who owns this place today likes entertaining and like went all out with lunch and everything. Cars and coffee. Yeah, that it's in Dayton. They uh, usually meet out at the Green or something on Sunday mornings. A lot of the guys from Cars and Coffee stop by here after that today, and it's all that is is a bunch of local people with cool cars meet somewhere, and they announce where it is. So everybody can come look at their cars. Um, that's where in Dayton. That's where you'll see the Lamborghinis and Ferraris and McLarens. They're going to bring them out only one day a week, and it's got to be nice weather. And they're going to get together with all the other rich people. Which we, we, we will never be, Mike. Well, at least I won't ever be. You may. Did you see the orange Corvette up on the jacket? Yeah. Oh I yeah. <laughs> Whoo I, I still like the. I still like that AC car. Oh, it's nice. All of his cars are gorgeous. Yeah. This is the kind of guy I want to be when I'm older. <laughs> oh, now see, he almost slid there too. That's the same thing yeah. the other guy did. Now they brought the corner in maybe ten feet, or five or ten feet. Don't catch on fire. What's well, your corporate weekend off? Last weekend was your you took vacation. No, I thought last weekend was my weekend. No, this is actually your corporate weekend off. That's why I texted you. Well, you know more than I do. <laughs> you are one week behind me in the rotation. Oh God, no, most gorgeous weekend we're gonna have for six months, you're off. You're at a motorsports event that didn't cost you a penny. Yeah. <laughs> I get to see you to boot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rock band. She talks about you all the time. There's a door in that garage that I am so upset about. <laughs> he, um, he has fire rated doors in there like he's supposed to have. If you look, there's spring hinges. And I verified it because I watched somebody open the doors up. So they're all good, but he cut a pet door into one of them. Well, it's not very fire rated anymore now, is it? Mike is crazy about windows and doors. Doors. He is and this guy's got job windows in his big outbuilding over here. Oh, I'm not happy about that. I was telling about the video that you sent. And how the uh, powers that be. Yeah. Pulled a meeting and showed your video. He was pinching down underneath. That's a pretty car. Oh, yeah. It's good that it's dry out. If, it's, if it had rained, this would be a muddy mess. But they'd still do it. <laughs> now, notice that they all have on snow tires. Most of these guys, or a lot of these guys, brought an extra set of wheels and tires. And they, you know, because you don't necessarily want to be driving these on the road. Yeah. Um, but the snow tires give you just about as much grip as you could possibly get out in a field doing this. And that's really the only extra equipment that most of them have. 
Now, some of these guys have gone all out. Uh, in the next class, you'll see the guys have, you know, tubbed out their cars and, um, you know, kind of gone crazy with the race seats and all that stuff. But for the most part, they're pretty... Uh, and, and 